parking lot. We're about to walk over to the show. So excited. It's like a two minute walk and then we'll be buying crystals. So let's go. Here we are. All right, we're inside. We don't even know where to start because there's so much, but we're walking to the big circle, hopefully. We're headed in the right direction and we'll see what we can find there. I'm looking for this very special obsidian. We just stumbled upon this beautiful booth and I wanted to show some of the gorgeous amethyst pieces. The polish is so good. Look at these little geodes. Look at this piece. And this one. The amethyst is so dark and so beautiful. And they have just so much of it. Wow. Here with Bookbinder, one of my favorites for massive statement pieces. Well, they have the kitty, the pretty kitty that I filmed in Tucson. But then look at the celestial. Wow. Does she spin? No. <laughs> Beautiful. Over by Gem Avenue, right across from Bookbinder. I have to show these pieces in the case. How stunning. Apotholite green apotholite beautiful darling pieces wow they look like green glass they're beautiful I had to show you guys this massive sphere it's so huge i think it was over there last time Ooh, this one has a rainbow you see the rainbow you guys i found freaking freaking found it it's right here look at how freaking pretty it is they might have tumbles over there Ooh, look at these fat towers. Literally dead on the floor. This is what Barbie does. Dead on the floor. I love it. Oh, my heart is in heaven. So pretty. Oh, and they have raw. This is what the raw stuff. Oh, these are just so darling. Oh, I love it. So many fun things, you guys. We're kind of doing a little bit of a lay of the land and then we're gonna start purchasing. Some beautiful blue casted amber here. Oh yeah, it does. I love the blue cast. You can see here it has that blue green cast and these baby free forms. This booth is all amber. And then there's these big, beautiful ones. I just love the color of these, and I think he has even bigger ones. There's red casted amber as well. So many colors of the amber. There are some of the super big freeforms. And then little polished pieces. Whoa! I didn't even see these huge ones. Those are so pretty. On the ground, under the table, I wanted to show you guys this polychrome. Look at how pretty it is. There's some with beautiful pink. I'm gonna bring it out into the light. These are half polished, half raw. They don't have a ton of Ibis Jasper. This is normally where I get my Ibis Jasper. They do have some, but I'm gonna pick it up on my way out because this stuff is pretty heavy. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. They have really good polychrome this time around, so I'm so excited to pick out some really nice pink stuff for you guys. Oh, the colors are just phenomenal. I love it. I also have some beautiful celestite over here. I haven't carried celestite in so long. It's hard to find good quality celestite. It's also kind of crumbly, so you have to be a little bit careful, but beautiful nonetheless. They've also got a ton of tumbles. Got some black moonstone. I love these little polychrome tumbles. I might have to grab those. Got green moonstone, labdurite. I love this shop. It's a Madagascan mineral shop. It's mineral market if you're curious. They've got tons of stuff at a really, really affordable price. They're by far one of my one of my faves. 
And we're just at the beginning of the Western complex, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> but I'll show you guys around once we get inside, which the big dome is right over there. So we're about to head into that once we finish making some purchases out here. All right, we are officially inside the main Coliseum. There's so many amazing vendors in here. It's still quite hot in here. It's very humid day in Denver. Let's just take a peek, seize around, see what we see. I don't know how open vendors are to me filming, so I'll just take a little wander around, and if anybody yells at me, I get it. <laughs> wow, beautiful polished kunzite here. I love polished kunzite. There's some really nice quality. Look at how icy. That is even some polished kyanite here. Really beautiful material. They're so pretty, you guys. Imperial Jasper. Gorgeous pieces. They have some mini ones that I've never seen before with the orange, actually. They're just so precious. I love them. Yes. These are my absolute fave, the big slices. This is at the Rainbow Obsidian vendor inside the Coliseum. Wow. Those are beautiful. Beautiful pieces. I have to show you guys that gorgeous Morganite barrel. This beautiful tourmaline with the bottom that's black. And then all of these gorgeous pinks over here. And this watermelon tourmaline is super unique because it's yellow, green, and then goes to pink. It's always fun seeing the vendors bring their best showcase pieces. For interesting, you guys, these are actually all lab created. They're very good at disclosing it. But I think this whole booth is lab created which is interesting you don't typically see that at a gem show but the colors are fun yeah even over here I was looking at these and thinking what are those not dyed but lab created in Poland very interesting all right you guys we're finding some really good stuff including some obsidian shivas which I've never seen before also wanted to show you guys this. look at how pretty Crazy, right? So pretty. So we're picking out some palm stones, some hearts, and we'll just see what we end up with. I got I pretty much grabbed all the Shivas. <laughs> I'm a big Shiva fan, as you know. But they have the really pretty palm stones as well. And I think I want to get some of these little babies. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ooh. Wow. You know, I really love this one. It's just okay. like <laughs> crazy cool. It's like a shell. We're picking out some gorgeous stardust obsidian. These are beautiful. There's so much depth in these pieces. Picked out some obelisks, some hearts, some raws, and there's other kinds of obsidian here. So I'm just kind of hand picking for you guys, making sure they're the best of the best. I think this is the best of the best. Got this teeny tiny little tray we're working with. But these are absolutely beautiful. We have two different kinds of obsidian that we've found so far that are incredible. I'm so excited to show you guys. We're just literally going through piece by piece, checking and grabbing the best of the best. We have about an hour and a half left on day one. I've pretty much bought really amazing obsidian that's all the fun stuff i've been finding so we're in a different part so i'm going to actually look at some really nice septarian from utah and we'll see what we can find we're kind of just getting a lay of the land still and i'll show you guys some of the beautiful septarian over here these are super fun big spheres wow i have a big sphere obsession with the big 
Juicy Spheres, and this is one of my favorite vendors that I haven't bought from yet. Aesthetically, they're one of my favorites because they have the beautiful honeycomb calcite, which is right here. They have the desert rhyolite, which is stunning. They have lots of material from Utah, including this incredible septarian. I personally love this quality more than the Moroccan quality. I just think it's so much more juicy. So I might pick out some pieces if they have some small ones. They have a lot of material from Utah, so we'll see if I end up picking anything out. The prices are a little bit high here, so that's my only hesitation. You can see some of the pieces are in the three, $400 range. So definitely on the pricier side, but beautiful. I'll show you some other stuff as I find it. Okay guys, I wanted to film this because it's so cool. One, there's a massive lapis tower right here, but I want to show you the massive lapis pyramid. <laughs> they have two of them. But look at this huge pyramid. That is so cool. And they've got lapis towers surrounding. Beautiful, beautiful materials. I also have some really nice bowls and just free forms and tables full of lapis. I want to get a little picture and then I'll show you more of the lapis table if I find some interesting stuff. Kind of look like a new find. They look like banded hematite palm stones. And you can see they come in so many different varieties. They don't say the material, but I wanted to show you guys this because it shocked me. The fake, ooh, fake malachite palm stones. $3 each, but ooh, I just feel that. They feel and sound like plastic. This is one of the Chinese wholesalers, which actually has some really nice material. Like I think these are pretty unique. Oh, here, tiger iron. Wow, the only thing is they're kind of heavy, not to say that I won't buy them, but it's kind of got a fun, fun vibe. You can see the hematite in them. I've never seen tiger iron quite like that. I'm just taking a browse at this booth here. We've made really good progress on day one, so we're having more time to film, which is nice. And it's always kind of fun checking out the wholesale Chinese booths just because you get to see everything in person. Wow, that big grape agate. I will say the quality and polish on these pieces is very nice, so they're all wrapped in plastic. Some really interesting aura. Oh, there's a little Peruvian booth here. Oh, they have little birds. Oh, lots of birds. I'm looking for the tourmaline with Chrysocolla. Oh. Look at these little mushrooms. Wow. You can see how slow it is here today. I think there's maybe two hours left in the show today. And next to this Peruvian booth and they have some beautiful birds. I was just in there looking around to see if I wanted to buy anything. I'm on the hunt for the Chrysocolla with tourmaline or Chrysocolla inside tourmaline. Over to my right here is a ton of big statement pieces and cathedrals, lots of heat treated citrine. Some fun big statement pieces. I'm just over here waiting for my lovely friend JC who's here with me to catch up with me over here. Look at all this beautiful pyrite. Oh, my nails really flash under the light. <laughs> They do have some of the Chrysocolla flames, but there isn't a lot of Chrysocolla in them. I wanted to show you guys the beautiful birds on this table. Look at this one up here. I love all the Peruvian birds. I love the colors. The orange one right there is so pretty. I just love these birds. I someday wanna have one. I'm just worried about shipping them home. And they have some really pretty material. 
Like these spheres, I thought these were kind of nice. They've got lots of pyrite in them. They've got just so much material. I shop with them in Tucson as well. They have tons of tumbles as well. I'm trying just to decide. I've bought I've bought a lot, but also not. <laughs> These are really cool. The half raw, half polished, big chunks of tourmaline. There's a ton of Peruvian vendors here though, so I don't wanna put all my eggs in one basket. These are beautiful Chrysocolla spheres. And the phosphocitarite too looks really nice this year. Just so many options and tons of tumbles, but the tumbles get very heavy. I just wanted to show you guys the flames. They have some rock flats here too. You have to buy the whole flat. These were some of the flames, but only a few of them have the chrysocolla, which I'm thinking about maybe getting some, but I don't love up here. You can see they have a lot of them. Only some have really good Chrysocolla inclusions. The pink rhodonite's really pretty though. Very bubblegum. Ooh, that one has a really pretty line in it. I had to show you guys these big jade money toads. Look at how intricate and beautiful they are. There's some mini ones over here, but they don't look like money toads. But wow. They're so pretty. This is one of my favorite bracelet vendors, but they also have some really stunning, stunning, stunning jade carvings, including the big, the big money toads. <laughs> I love them. They have little tea sets too. Really beautiful jade bracelets. So much jade. If they have mini jade money toads, I will definitely try to get some. Oh, look at these. These are so cute. Look at these carvings. I think some of these are money toad. They are money toads. They're just a different style. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Wow. I think there's more money toad. Oh, these carvings are just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna pick some out for you guys. We're finding some beautiful fluorites. The quality is so good. We picked out some already. Getting the close, whoa, real close. Whoa, super close. <laughs> We're trying to find some with some blue, which is, ooh. Which is it's always a little bit hard to find. Ooh, look at that big rainbow though. I don't wanna make my bag too heavy. They're so clear. So pretty. We're at one of my favorite booths as JC was just filming me, showing me picking out some of these. These are some of the ones. The quality of fluorite is just so good. There's also these little baby buffaloes and all kinds of different materials. I love the honeycomb calcites, the banded. I'm also gonna try to get some hearts. But these little buffaloes are just so freaking cute. I'm gonna try to get a good amount, but not too many because it does get very heavy in my bag. But they are very, very gorgeous. And I think they do have some hearts down here. Yeah, so we'll grab some hearts as well. These ones are more green fluorite. I'm gonna go grab my carts so we can pull some puffy hearts, but they've really expanded their materials that they have. They also have some big honeycomb calcite hearts over there. You can see the fluorite as well. Really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. That is a wrap on day one. The cart is very full. We are gonna head out and we'll be back for day two. We got some amazing finds. I might show you guys a little cheeky sneak peek in the hotel room because we have a really nice hotel room with a big old table in there. So I might be able to actually show you what we got, but the show is very strict and closes pretty much right away at six. So we will head out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I always wanted to be a hotel vlogger, so 
Let's vlog. Got my big cart here. Let's get to the room and I'll give you a little room tour to wrap up this vlog. Here we are, 701. She said this was a really cool room. Okay, here it is. There's a beautiful view of Denver and a parking lot, but we have this huge long table. This would honestly be so good to do live sales. There's a big old beautiful portrait. We've got the bed. It's very clean and very modern in here. There's all my stuff. Let me bring it in. Here is the little mini bar. I love a good mini bar. Lots of fun stuff in here. Yum, I'll dig into that. And then here is the bathroom. Very clean, very modern. Hey, big shower. Nice big closet. I love it. I think I might try to show you guys some of the crystals a little bit later tonight of what we picked up. And then that's probably where this vlog will end. But yeah, stay tuned. If not, I'll see you in the next vlog. But if I do show you some crystals, I'll show them to you before the sun goes down. I'm only gonna show you a few things just because some of the stuff is wrapped up and I don't wanna unwrap it. I'll obviously do a full haul when I get back home of everything so you can see it in detail. Just giving you a little cheeky sneak peek. So we got ametrine tumbles, apricot tumbles. We have some really beautiful rare obsidian in here that I'm so excited to show you guys and some barasite as well. We have tons of obsidian in here including velvet obsidian obsidian shivas everything's all wrapped up and i don't know if you can even see it in the light but we've got that really cool jade money toads some aquamarine with tourmaline in it and some high grade rose quartz in here we have tons of high grade mexican fluoride and then in here we also have some obsidian the beautiful new obsidian find and something that's really interesting about this obsidian is the guy we bought this from he owns the mine and he told me he was actually out taking a pee and looked down and saw this obsidian so he's the only one who who has it out of his mine so it's a brand new find it's 100% natural and it's absolutely gorgeous. I only got a few pieces, but I might get more tomorrow. But again, he's the only one who has it. He will let me order from him between shows, which is exciting. So that's just a very small sneak peek of what I've got. I just wanna end with that beautiful sunset over Denver. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on day one and make sure to come back for day two. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. We are almost to 50,000 subscribers and I'm hoping by the end of the Denver vlogs, we can reach 50K. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm so excited to show you these pieces when I get back and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye. Hey, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a crystal business? Don't know where to start or feel a lack of community? Well, guess what, you guys? I have a Patreon that has access to a private community and Discord server for just $18 a month. You can learn from other businesses, make friends, learn along with me, and topics include pricing, shipping, Shopify, Etsy, and so much more. So head over and join us on Patreon for just $18 a month. Everything is linked in my bio.